Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to get rid of green screens uh, from your footage just in Premiere Pro CC. Now normally I use After Effects, I find that's best, but hey, let's say you want to do it all in Premiere, can you do it? Yeah. It's not as easy, but yeah, it can be done. So let's do this tutorial. I'm uh, going to load up a file here. Okay, here we go. So we got a blank slate. Let's import some footage, why don't we? Go to Import, File, Import. And we're going to go to uh, some footage I have. It's called Khaled All Shots. Now this is in my project here. I'm just going to click my source. And then I'm going to take Khaled's footage, drop it in there. And we got Zach, Mr. Reggie Black here. We are going to grab this and pull it down to the timeline and drop it. All right, now I'm just gonna go to fit. So now the footage fits in here. Now we got a problem. We have a shotgun mic in shot. We also have uh, the space over here where there's no green screen. What the, what can we do? What's to be done? We are gonna go down here quickly to video effects and bring up keying. That stands for chroma keying, just like green screen, stiff. All right, so we are now going to, just to show you guys how to do this, I will bring an eight point garbage mat. What a garbage mat does is cut out all the junk in your footage. So I'm gonna drop this onto the video, on the timeline, and let go. And now what happens? Nothing. Until you go up to effect controls, then click eight point garbage mat and magically all these control points over here uh, which you can grab and pull in appear now in this footage an actor walks through the shot so uh, the, the guy's gonna have to animate these and I'll show you how to do that in, in a minute uh, we're gonna cut out the shotgun mic here and this is just like taking scissors and chopping, uh, you know, pieces off your video. That's what it's doing. The black represents uh, transparency. So anything will, below it will be shown. I hope you guys are following along here. There, so I've cut off the shotgun mic and the problem area. And now uh, I'll just quickly show you how to animate it. So over here, you see all these clocks. You just like check them all. And that's making a keyframe. What's a keyframe, you ask? Well, a keyframe, basically, you're telling the program to remember where all these points are right now. And then I'll click ahead 10 seconds. And let's say I want it to be wider. So I'm going to grab this out. And it will move over those 10 seconds and make a bigger garbage mat. All right, so let's do that again. There we go, and one more. And as you can see, when I click the timeline here, I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit play. What? There we go. Garbage mat is growing. Look what we did. Uh, and to access those those points, you can go over here. And I think you can zoom over. How do you do this? You zoom on this thing. There we go. You can zoom in. And here's where the points are. So let's say, here's a little trick. Let's say you want it to grow bigger faster. Is that the name of a South Park movie? Something like that. Anyways. All right, so we there now. The keyframes, it will, it will grow faster. There we go. So uh, that's how you manipulate your garbage mat. Um, if there's actors coming in, uh, it gets a little bit more complicated, but you'll figure it out. All right, so now let's get rid of that green screen, why don't we? We're still in keying. It's open here. And I'm glad it is because we want to grab the ultra key at the bottom here and drag and drop that right onto the footage. All right, so now up here in our effect controls, we are going to click this little eyedrop tool. See how easy this is? All right, we're going to click around here and boom, it deleted a lot of the green screen, but it left all this junk down here. What are we going to do? All right, we're going to click matte generation. The drop down here, we're going to play with some of these numbers. First thing, let's grab the tolerance. Oh, wait a second. Why do we have composite on? 
it's way easier if you go alpha channel and where the white is that's we're going to see the actor there uh so the black is going to be transparent so we obviously have to get rid of all this white which we will do we're going to go down to tolerance and then we're going to take it from 50 and crank it up to 100 what did that do for us anything a little all right how about pedestal oh now we're on to something you guys see that that's looking pretty good and if our garbage mat was a little tighter on that we're just about there now i do notice that his eyeglasses have reflected the green which causes some issues uh and what i would do is i'd make a second video layer so i'd copy and paste uh the video on top of it and i will cut out where the the glasses are just sort of a rough against the edges here and i would have a separate layer on top with the information for the glasses but thank goodness this isn't my project and i don't have to worry about that i would do that in after effects by the way but it's totally doable in this i believe as well just use, in, using the garbage mask all right or garbage mat okay so how did we do here let's go back to fit boop uh there's a bit there right uh let's go to composite um now sometimes when you zoom in let's go closer on zach uh there's a bit of a green white sort of um residue left over you can get rid of that with matte cleanup we're gonna choke zach here this won't hurt don't worry all right so we're gonna zoom in there so it sort of like cuts off a little bit it chokes the mat um and then you can soften that with guess what it's called soften and there we go that gives it more of a natural edge now here's the thing it's like what is going to go behind zach well the first thing is let's grab this clip because it's on like uh like video one v1 and we're going to bring it up to v2 then whatever you put on v1 is going to show behind zach so we are going to pull in a picture file and put that behind him to show you how to do it and we've got let's see mlp what's that stand for only my little pony because zach is a brony i can just tell he's into uh some dudes are into it hey there's a documentary check it out on netflix bronies zach is in it no he's not <laughs> i just thought it'd be funny okay so let's go to effect controls my little pony my little pony oh. okay there we go so there we go look so that's not that bad that doesn't look bad what do you guys think so there you go he's in the documentary now let's say zach is uh he's too small in the frame you want him to be bigger well this click the video layer go up to motion all right and scale him up there we go there's the close-up uh and sometimes when you scale up video it gets a little soft uh the resolution gets low so you could just go up here and type in like sharpen and what do we know it starts giving us some options for sharpen and i think it's right there and it is sharpen all right and we'll go to effect controls again it'll be at the bottom of the list and we'll just sharpen it up a bit let's go like 13 there so now is it still nice and sharp all right we'll even go a bit more we'll go 20. okay so that is really quickly how you uh delete a green screen in uh adobe premiere cc this is 2014 but i'm sure it applies to them all and there we go zach is in the brony documentary yeah okay so guys thanks for watching please like this video share subscribe tell your friends and have a good day guys